Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. I am fucking tired, but I am pushing through this because I need to watch more. I need more content. Um, we have today we have season two, episode four of Good Omens. Um, I'm excited, as always, to see where we go with this episode, see what happens. Um and I'm again nervous. I'm gonna say this at the start of every video. I am nervous and excited. That's that's my emotions for this show. Um so yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> I'm too tired to have a whole big intro and fancy rambling and shit. Perfect. I'm surprised uh, it knows it's hard to play anything other than Queen. So late. I'm sure someone will stop for you. <laughs> Christ. Can you be an angel and give me a lift? Only my, my car's broken down and, and my phone's dead. Just to the next town. There's a garage there. Oh, yes. Well. Yeah. Could you be an angel? Uh, I already am, but you know, sure. <sighs> Crowley's gonna be like, "Why have you got a woman in my car?" Oh. Oh shit. Couldn't resist somebody in distress. What a heap of junk this car is. You'd think he would have upgraded sometime in the last ninety years. Shack. Former admissions demon, senior grade. Crowley is hiding the angel Gabriel. I think you must have me confused with someone else. I'm a little bemused as to why Crowley should risk destruction for you. You don't seem his type at all. I can tell <laughs> that little eyebrow raise. Oh, I mean. Gabriel, where would you put him? You know. Well, I'm glad he's lied before, because if that was his first lie, 18, 90 years, I remember that would not have gone so well. An item. Poor old Frobo. It's okay. You've already told me where he is. No. How? How did I tell you where Gabriel is? You didn't. You have now. Well, this just. Got, uh, got me a little bit more nervous for what's gonna happen. Oh, wow, this is unexpected. Okay, oh my god, okay. Oh, this is back to the church! Hey! This is the moment that Aziraphale fell in love! Because he protected the, the, the suitcase! And he was like, oh, and he fell in love. I forgot all the books. R.I.P. Oh, Sherlock's brother. Little demonic miracle of man. This home. See? See? Look at him. That's the moment he knew. thing you did for me shut up well there must be something i can do for you in return forget it will you spreading the old demon drink he's so happy bless him he's like that was very nice of you thank you <laughs> thanks uh, and this crowley was there in a church on hallowed ground tell me Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I did not like that. Broken all of them? And to top it all off, tonight's magician has just been arrested as a deserter. Oh, don't mention a magician. Um, I, I wonder if I might be able to help no. you out on behalf of my, my good friend here. I am no stranger to the art of prestidigitation. Not again. Right, here's the deal. I can grant you a temporary license to go back up to Earth as zombies for 24 hours. It's zombies? 
Zombies, yes, the living dead. Then, if you are able to find me hard proof that the demon crow. I hear this. I hear this. I hear this. From your description, appears to be an angel. Commandant looks. You'll be passed through the spider's digestive system, expel the fecal matter, reconstitute it as a Nazi headed fly, and then the whole sorry business is repeated. For how long? Let's take a check for you. All of eternity? Eternity. So, if you'd rather take the initial 24 hours of the living dead on Earth, just sign here. Otherwise, it's straight through there. Its cravings can only be quenched by the consumption of living human brain. Just keep you going. Any questions? You know, I don't like the idea of hell oh. anymore. I know I'm going there, but I'm kind of scared. Well, I'm glad they don't look like zombies. For those who don't know, I have a like a really bad fear of zombies, and I I don't watch anything zombie related. It freaks me out. Aside from Shaun of the Dead, that's different. Cheers for um getting me off the hook. Oh, there's no need to thank me. That's what friends for. Are you all aware that you're going to be performing on the West End stage? Well, I don't have the foggiest notion how it's done. <laughs> but that's a trick for close quarters, huh? Great. Well, there is uh, Will Goldstone's magic shop, mm. but that's uh, for professional conjurers only. You, my Nefertiti fooling fellow, are about to perform on the West End stage. That doesn't make you a professional tundra. I don't know what does. Aww. I mean, they just look like typical drunks on a night out. Are you familiar with it? Whoa! A lot of fun, that lot of fun. And it's only two and six. Uh, well, uh, see, I do have a, a gift for prop. Um, well, a sort of, a sort of natural dexterity. What about this? There's moments I feel I'm very cruelly, but then there's also moments like these where I feel like I'm very Aziraphal. You see the big piece? You don't understand. Twelve people have died presenting this effect. Years ago, I sold one to a lovely Chinese fella, and he ended up six foot under. I'd hate to see the same thing. So why are you still tonight. selling it, then? Sure. Are you sure you're sure? Quite sure. How much? And another £4.15 shillings for the rifle. But you'd need a firearms license. Oh, I have one of those already. You are? Oh, yes, I keep a derringer in the bookshop inside a hollowed out. In case I get into a scrape, you read too many books. Um, seven pounds, sir. Go and take a look at the pocket tricks over there. Go on, I'll be with you in a minute. Mm. You're going to need a 100% reliable marksman, someone you can really trust. Otherwise, it's lethal. He's gonna look directly oh, at the man he trusts. <laughs> Excuse me for one minute. You do the shooting. I'll catch the bullet. I'll do all the hard bits. As a demon. He's that dude's gonna take off the wrong fucking ring, isn't he? I'll do it. Yeah. If anything goes wrong, can we agree that we break your one miracle limit? Fake ears are two shillings, thank you very much. It's not fake. It's my own. Oh no, his brain! No, poor guy. It's my treat. Sir. Sir. Please. Sir. Oh no. God damn it. Of the amazing Mr. <gasps> this is where the little the little mustache came from in the trailer that I was so excited to see. Oh, bless his cotton socks. He looks like Steed Bonnet in that outfit. <laughs> well, the ladies of Cap, to 
Maze, you? First, I shall require the assistance of a gentleman from the audience. Now, is anyone here familiar with using firearms? <laughs> All of them. like you might have a steady hand yep. ah, um mm. yeah we'll escort you up onto the stage uh oh not the miracle blocker oh what no oh no not the no the not the miracle blocker, blocker. but Fuck. in a blink and before your very eyes into an inkwell <laughs> what on earth is he I thought you said he was a magician. He is. From Ah, uh, no. Inkwell. My miracles aren't working. Neither am I. Now, would you be so good as to uh, take this rifle? This is terrifying. Ah, the gentlemen of the press are intrigued already, I see. <laughs> Uh, now. Shoot past my ear. I'll just squeeze that bit there. I don't... Didn't you fire the gun before? Not how sharp. Oh, for fuck's sake, cruelly! <laughs> if you would load the bullet into the gun, I will attempt to catch that bullet in my teeth. He is trusting him with his life and no miracles right now. Ready? Get on with it for God's sake. Oh my god, he's gonna end up shooting the old woman or some shit. Good lord. No paperwork. <laughs> you guys better be clapping. and collaborating with an angel Kel the Marvelous aka Azirapalala <laughs> Azirapapapa Azifafalala Azirapalala Sorry who? Pure coincidence I happen to be here The miraculous bullet catch requires the use of a trusted stooge and confidant Where did you get that booklet? <laughs> Oh god, they're more like zombies now! Got it from the man in the magic shop just after you left. I fucking hate it. This is my least favorite episode. That's a cute photo though! Don't bother trying any funny business. I think you'll find someone who has great authority. Come on, come on. I bet he'll find a way to keep that photo. Going Crowley. Shall we? No, we shan't. You're ridiculous. Mm. What's ridiculous is demons like you doing what they please and somehow still getting on. Well, I love how little he cares. Enjoy your last night on Earth. The photo's not going to be in there, is it? He well, kept it. For two reasons. Freedom from damnation. Indeed, there are. But I'm afraid it looks like you'll be staying right here. Hey. Oh, hang on. 
that's not. But. How? <laughs> Magic. Locker in the room. I saw you put it back in the envelope. You need the miracle when you've had private lessons from the great Prof Hoffman. I, uh. I knew you'd come through for me. You always do. Oh. You said trust me. Oh. And you did. But you could have walked away. If you were truly as evil as you like to paint yourself, you would have done. Nah. You're gonna get your tongue chopped off, buddy. Let me in to see Lord Beelzebub, or I will rearrange your vital organs and hang them on the wall. Or his organs, I guess, not just in his tongue. The angel went to Edinburgh. Which angel? You know which one? Curly's pet. Why Edinburgh? Not sure. Maybe they want us to think Gabriel's in Edinburgh. Maybe Curly wants the angel to make us think Gabriel's in Edinburgh. Maybe he, Maybe he actually is in Edinburgh. No, he's not in Edinburgh. Now that we've located Gabriel, what do we do? Well, we formulate a plan. I formulated a plan. I take a legion mm. of demons and we storm the bookshop, killing anyone, anything that stands in our way. We capture Gabriel Jeez. and we drag him as tribute before the throne of Satan, our master. No. I am not authorizing you to do that. Good decision. I am commanding you to Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ. All right. I want you there, Shaq. Per Aziraphale's bookshop, like he just loves his books and it keeps getting affected. You need to get out of that toxic relationship, Nina. There's someone way better for you across the road. That's why something might have happened to you. Uh, no, nothing happened to me. Very uneventful journey indeed. No. Do you miss me? I bet you did. I'm sure I did. So, any more clues from the mystery of the missing archangel? Uh, not exactly. Well then, Wigmore Street Traders and Shopkeepers Association monthly meeting. Here we come. You're really hosting the meeting? Absolutely. And I can guarantee you, it will be a night to remember. Oh, I don't know about that. That makes me nervous. It just, it's just keeping me on edge, man. I'm just sat here like I need, I need to finish this because I'm scared of what's going to happen. I really hope that when, I mean, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where they can go with this, like where they can go with like storming the bookshop because if they don't have permission to get in, but then they, the demons start storming, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm actually really nervous. I'm nervous for Aziraphale. Um, I don't think they'd go down a really like depressing route with this show. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I've no idea. Like I said, I've never read the books, but I'm hoping that this doesn't end up being some like, I don't know, cruelly giving himself up for a zero fell and then something bad happening to him or something, or like the opposite way. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm stressed and I need to know more. So again, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. So peace and. May the ineffable husbands be happy and live a lovely life and yeah. <laughs>